our cars will break down. And when they do, the repair bill can be devastating. Not anymore. You need Protect My Car. Whether it's a car, truck, or SUV, you can stop paying expensive repair bills. Call Protect My Car at 800-392-8795 now to see if you could qualify. Just tell us the make and model and get an instant quote right over the phone and get coverage today. For cars between 2008 and newer, expensive repairs for the engine, transmission, and much more can become a thing of the past. Call Protect My Car at 800-392-8795 now before your next repair bill hits. For total protection of your car, truck, or SUV and less repair bills plus free oil changes, free tire rotations, and free roadside assistance. Just call 800-392-8795 now. Protect your car and your wallet. Call 800-392-8795. Paid for by Protect My Car. Restrictions may apply. Plans and costs for coverage may vary. Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com Welcome to Jason Newland. My name is Jason Newland. Yeah, that's it. Welcome rather to Let Me Boy You To Sleep. And my name is Jason Newland. Please only Jason Newland. No, but please only listen. That's it. Listen now. Very intense. Now only listen when you can safely, safely close your eyes. So, you know, I hope that's self-explanatory. So if you're about to land a space shuttle, then maybe don't listen to this. Or if you're about to do open heart surgery on someone, maybe turn this off, possibly. Um, Or if you're in the middle of a rugby match and you're on the field, then yeah, (laughs) maybe don't listen to this then. Maybe afterwards or before, maybe not before. But you know, no, 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 not during, not during. Um, yeah, if you're, even if you're flying a kite. By kite, I mean you know, thing in the sky. Uh, I don't know if people you do them anymore, do they? I used to love a nice, a nice kite flying. It's weird though because it's almost like one of those enjoy <laughs> enjoy <laughs> dear, <I'm coughing. coughs> oh I can't cough it's one of those uh, like a laughy cough it's it's an enjoyable thing to do yet yeah, completely pointless <laughs> flying a kite. Yeah, I got this bit of plastic. Look at it, it's in the sky, look. Yeah. Yeah, but it's attached to some string. Yeah. No, but there's some like bits of um you know, things to make it into a, like a, a triangle. Like this these bits of wood, not wood, but um tubular long stuff uh, bamboo stick kind of things and it it basically it's made it instead of just being floppy like a bit of plastic it's actually making it flat yeah but it's in the sky yeah okay yeah 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 I can see it's in the sky but look now I can see but the wind's keeping it up Okay. So. Oh. Oh. I suppose it is a bit pointless, really, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. I was having so much fun. 
Oh, wow. Huh. Your negativity really has ruined everything. Well, glad to be of assistance. Flying kites is fun. I'm sure, it's been a long time <clears throat> since I flew a kite. It's not really something you do when you're an adult. I suppose, well, unless of course it is something you do, then it is, but I think kites, I think it's you get to relive, if you've got kids, you get to relive some of those uh, enjoyable moments by taking your kids along and making them partake in an activity that they've got no interest in <laughs> just so you could have fun oh that sounds a bit negative oh no it's, it's just it's just natural isn't it oh I mean I would like to point out to a lot of parents if there's any parents listening any fathers any fathers out there listening it may surprise you but your your young children okay you listening fathers daddies out there it may surprise you but your young children may not be quite as interested in that air show as you are they might not be that interested in watching planes go by as you might be just letting you know just letting you know continue taking your kids to things like castles they might not be that interested oh an old building that's half half <laughs> only half built you know it's uh no but it used to be a castle listen little look son it used to be a car well it still is a castle but it used to used to have a roof and people used to live in there and and then get the plague, and it was great. Oh, that's interesting. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for bringing us to this castle, this old ruined building. Thanks. Yeah. Much rather be doing this than being at home playing on the PlayStation on the Xbox. Much rather be doing. No, it's all right, Dad. I'd much rather spend time with you than be having fun. Oh, oh, harsh, a bit harsh. I mean, I think really, if you are an adult, if you want to take your kid out, take your kid out somewhere your kid wants to go. And there's a little secret, I found this. This is a worth gold. This is this is a piece of gold here. A little nugget of nuggetness. Here's how you find out what your kids like. What you, you know, do because it's it's almost like oh blindly it's the it's the just like just how do I find out what my what my son or daughter is going to enjoy doing. Um, Here's, here's a solution to that. Okay. You ready? Ask them. I know. Mind blowing, isn't it? Mind blowing. Ask them what they want to do. Uh, no, I can't comprehend. But surely they'd be interested in going to the air show. Or maybe go into a, a coal mine in, or a slate mine in, in Wales. We can go to Wales and we go to a slate mine where they used to make slates and perhaps get get our names engraved in the slates. Ye, or you could ask the child what they would like to do. I spent years on holiday. <laughs> And now my family, we, it wasn't that we didn't have any money, but we just had too many kids. The family was too big, four kids, 
two adults and the occasional grandmother. There was, you know, big house, two cars, or three cars, including the van, and a four, including the camper van. There was no, there was no money to go like abroad or anything like that. So we ended up doing UK holidays, which in themselves is fine. Britain or England, Scotland, Wales, all those areas. There's some beautiful parts of this place, you know. And we did go to some nice places. So there's no, you know, I've got no fault with the places we went to. As far as we used to go to Wales. We went to Wales a few times for holidays. Um, I mean, if I'd have been asked what slight changes I would have made to the to the process, to the, you know, if I'd have had a bit more of an input into the planning of that particular holiday, there would have been less people going. It would have just been me going. I'd have left everyone else at home. Definitely would have left my brothers and my dad at home. So, it's, I, I suppose technically, me on my own or me with my stepmum perhaps wouldn't be classed as a family holiday. But, you know, I don't think we should get too caught up in uh, labels. We get to we get to Wales, right? We get to Wales, and Wales is a it's lovely. It really is. Um, it is, and if if nothing else, it's funny just to try and pronounce the 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 names on the street signs or the towns, you know. So. It's the but God, it's just it's just impossible. No word should have that many L's and Y's in it. It's just so I'm not quite sure how they got that, how they got to that point. But I I like the beach. Beaches were lovely in Wales. Some of the beaches beautiful, and you could walk out from literally walk out long distances, and you'd still only be up to your knees in water. Now, I think there was quite a bit of ignorance though, because the tide can come in. You can get caught. So you can, you know, and suddenly the water's deep. But we didn't know about stuff like that back then. Or, mind you, I noticed my dad never went out. He always just sent us out. You go there. Go to that little bit of, uh, you see that little bit of that opening. Just go there. Just stand on that sandy bank there. Yeah, maybe sunbathe. It's fine. That's okay. Yeah, I know it's surrounded by water from all different directions and it's really far out, but don't worry, it's okay. We'll call you in when it's dinner time. Like, no, Dad, I'm not going there. I'm not. Going to see a castle. Yippee! I mean, I don't think any kid, well, maybe... I mean, there's probably some kids, but I can't imagine there's that many children whilst on holiday jump out of their, you know, bed and say, Mummy, Daddy, can we go and visit a castle today? Can 
can we can we go to an old town and look at some of the uh <laughs> visit some, visit a cafe yeah. probably not maybe probably not but maybe definitely not possibly but it's brilliant though you know I loved it I mean how could you not love going to a slate mine and seeing all that slate you know all the stuff they used to use to put on on top of people's houses and stuff to make roofs by the way it's roofs not roofs it's roofs it's r-o-o it's o dot uh not roughs if you say rough instead of roof give yourself a good talking to and I will see you in detention getting ready to go out he's going to slam the door in a minute can you hear that fucking did I just swear <laughs> 17 minutes past 5 in the morning slams the door shakes the whole building is oblivious to it and he's really lovely bloke quiet person talks very quietly really nice but he's oblivious to that door slamming it's almost like he doesn't hear it it's funny it's kind of funny see I don't let the door slam so occasionally it does you know but generally I don't let it slam the front door because they're on they're on hinges so they slam oh is he coming in is he going to let the door slam again? That's the thing. He goes out, does something in his car, then he comes back in. So he lets the door slam like two or three times at five o'clock in the morning. Now, 20 years ago, 30 years ago, I'd have been going absolutely spare. Seriously getting woken up at five in the morning by someone slamming the door I would have lost my mind now I don't care that's weird isn't it <laughs> it's almost like uh, it's just one of those I think maybe it's as I got older just realise you can't control other people you just can't can't control every aspect of our environment I can't control the birds singing in the trees I can't even, don't even have that much control over my own bum so you know what why am I trying to control other people how about taking some control over yourself first maybe maybe mm hmm don't know. I'll hear some news. <sighs> hear some newsy poozy. I got a message from Ah oh, oh, Blimey. Let me see if I've got the details here. I've had a few messages. I want to say thank you to Hope. For your PayPal gift, really, really helpful. Thank you. Uh, actually, helped me pay uh, one of my bills yesterday. So thank you very much. Um, if you do wish to help with this free service, please go to paypal.me forward slash Jason Newland, and the links on my website. Um, Karen, that's it. 
uh, Karen actually asked me um, if I would do a longer, if I could do a longer recording. Now, five hours is the longest I could do, generally, okay. Um, she wanted six or seven hours. Nope, can he do that? I would if I could, but the podcast limit is five hours and 300 megabytes. So the size is limited and the length is limited. So, sounds a bit weird. Um, so, if the if the size of the recording, you know, it might be five hours long, but if it's if it's you know five hundred megabytes, then I can't upload it. So I had to figure a way of reducing the size, and I did eventually. So the recordings with music, I'm going to do two. So basically. I will do the first recording, which was without music. There will be one with two hours worth of music. And then one with five hours worth of music. So it just gives you the option. Because not everybody's going to want to listen for five hours. Uh, some people will be listening for a couple of hours in order to maybe have a nap or to just help to relax. Because they enjoy just, you know that time some people prefer without music so I I personally probably prefer without music but this is a preference for me um, if I'm listening to someone talking I don't want to li- hear music no it's, well, no, it's, it's different no if I think, you know, if it's a guided relaxation session, yeah, music is is cool. But if it's some, like, talking, because I watch and listen to, uh, let's say, motivational stuff uh, on Spotify, and... The amount that they have that have music underneath. Like, do you really kind of upbeat music? And it annoys me. I just want to hear the person's voice. I don't want to hear any damn music underneath it. But then I'm not, I'm not trying to go to sleep. Or relax. I'm just trying to listen to the words that are being spoken directly to me. Anyway, Karen, uh, she sent me a message. I've just gone to click today's podcast and see that the time is longer. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'll let you know if I wake an hour in the morning. You don't have to let me know. Uh, if I get past 5 a.m. an hour, I'm going to just... Uh, we were close. If we were close... Uh, it's a bit... So cool. Um, yeah, you don't have to let me know exactly how how long you was asleep for or anything, unless you want to. But it does make me feel like a bit of a failure, though, if you tell me that <laughs> it didn't work. <laughs> I listened. <laughs> it's like I listened to one of your relaxation sessions, um, the big body scan one you did, and uh, I was really relaxed. But unfortunately, my left knee that it just didn't relax. Sorry, sorry you failed, but then better luck next time. Ah. <laughs> I mean, it, it, the way I the, the way I work is, I think it's progressive. It's a progressive. It's very gentle very genteel the way that I do what I do so you know I'm not like go to sleep I don't bombard you with stuff I just check a few suggestions you know in the hypnosis stuff that is not this one 
And it's like, oh, you, 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 you. just chuck a few suggestions and some ideas and some visuals and some, you know. It just stuff that you can do or not do and the accumulation of that I feel over time could be useful that's kind of where I'm coming from on that so it's um, if you're listening and you get three hours you asleep for three hours then maybe tomorrow you'll be asleep for three hours and 20 seconds and it just progresses like that so in a in 30 years time you might be asleep for five hours so you know it's 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 brilliant really it's just it's incremental is it incremental? It's a little bit at a time. A little bit, a little bit at a time. And it's, you know, so that's what I've done. I mean, I would do much longer recordings if it was a suitable venture. But it's not suitable because I can't do it because I'm not able to doesn't mean that I won't be able to in the future so there might be a possibility of me releasing some longer ones but what I might do is make some longer videos for YouTube so maybe eight hour an eight hour video for YouTube that might be something that I might do for you in the future so it's you know it's summer we're thinking about and it? it's summer we're for uh, discussing but we'll see we will see see I'm so in love with you. Oh, guess what? Guess what, honey plum? Guess what, my darling? Since the beginning of this year, and Tuesday the 8th of June, 2021, I have had 1,089,564 downloads or listens to my podcasts. 1,089,564 1,089,564 It's not bad, is it? So I reckon I'll have By the end of the year I'm guessing 3, 3 million plus for the year That's what I'm reckoning That's what I reckon I may be right I may be wrong It doesn't really matter Oh, Ben says, thank you for the extra long let me boy to sleep. Ended up getting into it and now can't sleep. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> it's like, thanks for doing that. By the way, it failed, but thanks anyway. <laughs> it was of no use to us, but thanks. That's like two now. Yeah, thanks for doing that, but yeah, it didn't do anything for me. It's absolutely pointless, but thanks anyway. It's like, yeah, thanks for taking us on a holiday to Wales and taking us to the slate mine and that old decapitated partially brick castle that didn't even cover us up during the rain but thanks for that yeah thanks for wasting two weeks of my life it was great but thanks yeah yeah thanks hmm hmm let me get everyone back I have revenge. My revenge is by sending people to sleep <laughs> for more than 10 minutes. I mean, really. I do.
do do other things. I do do other podcasts, which are my, you know, sleepy recordings and stuff. So they might be, might be worth uh, looking into. Uh, it doesn't have this, you know, it doesn't have me talking to you. in this way but there is uh, it's more well it is you know it's relaxation me just talking you through it guiding you to feeling more relaxed and to also notice how your mind starts to drift as you listen to me and you know so that's the kind of stuff that I would do well that I do do regularly some and I'm going to be doing those also with on their own with no music then with a two hour music or one which is two hours of background music and one which is five hours of background music Again, giving people the options of what they choose for yourself. Because, you know, it's. I like the idea of having options. And that's probably. I guess that's why I make so many different recordings and have done for such a long time. Because. I just, to me, I'd get, yeah, I'd probably get a little bit bored listening to exactly the same recording for too long. And I mean, I I had a brilliant relaxation CD or tape back in 2000, it was. January 2000 I listened to it every day and it was brilliant it was brilliant Uh, I wish I still had it because I'll probably listen to it now well not right now but you know Um, it was really really good the music was beautiful and the lady's voice was beautiful and Everything about it was great. Now, maybe that was a little seed under my helmet that that I kind of sprouted, you know, the idea of making recordings, but. You know, I had a, uh, I had an idea of doing it back in probably '99, thinking, oh, maybe I should make a a CD, uh, so, you know, some kind of relaxation recording or pain relief or something like that and my my cousin had because his dad was in a band they had loads of recording equipment and my cousin was a whiz a whiz kid on the making music he was into I don't know garage or something like that um, and into music, he loved the garage, and he used to like me to play music as well. And he had all this really good setup with microphones and everything. So I did record myself doing probably about ten minutes of a relaxation session, just off the, you know, off the top of my head. But it, it was rude. <laughs> So I wasn't really taking it very seriously, but it, 
it was rude, it was me being very rude. And I thought, ah. Oh, that was fun. Yes. But, uh, with a full bosom, I thought, no, I'm not really, not really my thing. I just thought, nah, I don't know if I could be bothered. I wasn't interested, really. I was a little bit interested, but it would have been, you know, down the line of selling CDs. Where'd you sell them if you can't, you know, other than in a major bookshops, uh, music stores and stuff like that, back in the day when we had them. And I just, it seemed to me that that was just a lot of work. So I didn't bother. I mean, there was a period, right? I'm going to open this. So you're going to hear it go. Tss. Ready? Oh. I must have opened it yesterday. What was I talking about? Must have been something. What was it? I don't know. I don't remember. I think in those days, I would have needed some kind of recording contract or publishing deal to be making CDs. Now, of course, do what you want online. I was going to say it doesn't cost anything, but this costs me quite a lot of money to run. But it's because it's uh, of a higher... I'm on a higher level than an average podcast. <laughs> oh, it sounds so up me up my own bum, don't I? <laughs> By that, what I mean is... The cost of running this has gone up over the last couple of years. Yeah, you know, not just it's the equipment, but the the costs, the various different costs. Um, because I, I make quite a few recordings, which means there's a lot of uploading to do, which means I've got unlimited internet on my iPhone and on my iPad. So it's two separate contracts, £30 a month each. That's separate from the broadband, because the broadband is rubbish. Which means when I've done a recording, I can upload it both on the phone and on the iPad. So it takes a lot less time to do it, to upload And it's a very time-consuming thing. I mean, just for one recording to upload it to the different podcasts can sometimes take an hour and a half. If I do it on just one thing, if I just do it on a phone. So I can half that time by doing it on the iPad at the same time. You see what I mean? And also, if I when I was doing it on the broadband... It was cutting off, continuously cutting off. So I try and upload, and it wasn't like big files, you know. I mean, the most, the highest file is 300 megabytes. That's the biggest file that I can upload. So it's not, that's not a big file. There's a thousand megabytes in a gigabyte, so 300 megabytes. You could say it's quite a high file 
for a podcast episode. Uh, okay, I suppose, maybe. But it's, you know, good quality. It's a good quality um, MP3. And, you know, the, the 300 or whatever ones, they're two hours long. Now going to be five hours long, but I managed to. I figured out how to do it yesterday. I spent hours trying to figure this out, and yeah, hopefully it should work out okay. Should be groovy. (laughs) I was going to say there was a time. When I moved away from London, in fact, before that, when I got um, evicted out of my home, well, I was I was just renting a room in this place, but I got evicted, so I had to get out, and it was just another one of those. I mean, I've been evicted a few times over the years, and it's horrible. It's just horrible, even if you don't like the place you're living in. It's just okay. The I guess being forced to make changes and the expense that comes with it, you know, trying to find somewhere else and finding a deposit and stuff. Now in this situation my friend did offer to sort of he said, Well, draw to borrow money to get yourself a place. He said we well, can how much you need? A grand, a thousand more? And I was like, No, no, honestly. I turned him down. I said, no, it's fine. I had a job. I had a full-time job, and I was working part-time at the weekends. So I had enough to rent a place. Um, yeah, all I was doing was working, really. Working all day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, but then working Friday night till 2 or 3, and then working Saturday night till about 2. So the only day I had off was Sunday, and I didn't mind it. I, I'd I'd love to. Well, love is probably the wrong word, but um, the the uh, you know the weekend thing. I'd love to be doing that now, and living here. You know, if there was a like a comedy club around the corner just up the road from where I lived I mean I'd be there you know I'd love to sort of be the D I don't know a DJ I think I'd probably I'm more I think I'm more at a level of probably wanting to be the manager of the place right you know just to be around there standing around in a suit or something looking smart and smarmy <laughs> I think being a DJ, I think that's not, it's not even fair. I think on the, on the young women, they don't want some old, old man like me, being in charge of the music. They do want some young fruity, like I used to be, young and fruity, wearing nipple tassels, you know, like most DJs do. You don't realise it. It's underneath the top. But you know, if you ever get, a, if you really want to see, when you get go to your next disco, it doesn't matter whether it's a disco or radio DJ, uh, whether it's a wedding, whatever. Every DJ, male, only male, only men, do this. Uh, get them to take their top off or pull their top up. Nipple tassels, and they're always in pastel colours. And quite often shaped as uh, little willies. I don't know why. I don't know why. It's just that it's it's the, it is part of the job. Now, is it, this is the hidden stuff that you don't know about. I don't realise it. I mean, I've just told you about it, but it's it's a trade secret. I remember I went to the job because you know if you go for a job as a security guard. Now you need to have a license. You need to have first aid training. 
you need to have uh, self-protection training, uh, conflict resolution. You need to have a license to say that you are competent in certain aspects of, uh, you know, security, whatever that is, uh, whatever it means. And so you have to have that stuff if you want to get a job on the railways. You need to have certain licenses and um, proof that you're that you know what you're doing and you understand self and safety and you you know all that stuff. There was a reason I was saying all this stuff. Now I've, I think I've took it too far when I started talking about working on the railway. What was I talking about before the railway? Being a DJ? Yeah. You need to have that stuff when you go for a job interview. You need to have that information at hand. To become a DJ, all you need to do is just show them your tassels. Quite often it really is, do you have them? And you say, yeah, you pull your top up. And you do, you, you, you have to do, you have to be able to do it so not only do the tassels swing round one way and then round the other way, but you need to get it so they swing round opposite directions at the same time. And there's a certain skill in that. So that's why DJs always have perfect bosoms because of all that exercise they get with their tassels, with their nipple tassels. And... So that's part of being a DJ. Um, what other things to be a DJ? You have to grow your toenails really long. That's something that's, again, you probably didn't know about this. You have to grow your toenails really long. It's something to do with... Um, well, apparently what it is is... Not only do you have to have your toenails, really, you have to take your shoes off and your socks off when you're behind the DJ decks. Because there's a certain vibration that enters. Your nails, your toenails, which allows you to get in, t in touch with the with the music so yeah you have to have very long um, gangly uh, toenails what other things did <coughs> DJs need to have Oh yeah, you need to have a little um, a fart flap. Uh, so basically, what that is is you know like a cat flap, but this is in the, in the bot it's the back of your trousers, and it's all always there, nice and loose. Um, but basically, you have it. It offers two options. You can have it so it's loose, so the farts can just move, you know, slowly in and out, in and out. Uh, you know, it can be relieved. But what you can do, what they do is, when a customer or, yeah, a customer comes to to ask you to play a song, what happens is the the fart flap seals itself. Because another thing that happens with DJs is when they're near, when they're near um, women, they tend to let off a lot of gas. This is part of the, because you know, DJs are a very special breed of people. They are the chosen ones, in fact. And um, there's a certain amount of gas which is produced, and that's in reaction to the 
estrogen in the air because it's a real thing uh, women give off and I'm sure, I'm sure it's the same with men men and women I'm just going to focus on just one sex men and women give off uh, is it pheromones isn't it basically and it's in the air and it's a smell you can't smell it although you can maybe but it's there's so you know if you if you moan if you've got oh that 45 year old man was chatting me up and I'm way too young for him I've got my dad's my dad's younger than he is don't blame the man blame your estrogen blame the pheromones blame nature my old pal it's not his fault he is reacting to an invisible force that is one of the strongest forces in the world so he's he might be almost like a statue not able to move because he's he's just hypnotized by you but it's not because he wants to be He doesn't want to be standing there. No middle-aged man wants to be standing there talking to a 22-year-old woman. Trying to chat her up and humiliating himself. He's got air shows to get to. He's got slate mines to get to. He's got old castles to visit. Or kites to fly. He doesn't want to be wasting his time talking to a beautiful woman he's got other things that are way more interesting but he gets caught up in that web of science this is science this is this is like saying stop breathing no you should be able to control well he is controlling he's not doing anything bad I mean yeah if he was doing what he wants to do he'd probably get arrested for indecent exposure but you know the fact is he's affected by science by nature by these weird chemicals that are emitted from the younger person because I don't I don't know I don't I don't admit any kind of ferret. I don't have any hormones, I don't think. No, not at my age. I don't have hormones. That'd be so ridiculous. I don't have hormones. You have hormones, I don't. You can keep yours. You can have mine. I'm glad I don't have any hormones anymore. Oh man, that was hard work. Really? I mean, I don't get frustrated anymore. Only time I get frustrated is if the uh, pizza delivery is late. That's it. I don't get frustrated. You know, like, oh, I need a woman. Oh, I need satisfaction. No. I need some sleep. I need another can of Coke. I need to go for a walk. I need a toilet. I don't. I don't need. Oh, uh, I never. I don't know if I ever need. Uh, maybe I did. But that's gone. But I was lucky because I never really got attached generally to women. I wasn't one of these. I'll say lucky. I mean, it was due to my malfunctioning brain but I was able to be alone and there's some people can't I know people so I'm not judging it although I do find it funny or funny funny as in like a bit 
amusing and confusing. Like, oh, really? You can't spend time on your own. Why would you? I, I know people that would rather s- spend their life with someone they can't even stand being there than being on their own. Now that I will judge because that is just, just like, come on. You don't even like this person, yet you're... I've got an idea. Why don't you have another kid? Oh, that would help the relationship. Or we could move house to another, a bigger house and get a larger mortgage. So we're really stuck with each other for longer. Yeah, it's a good idea. Me. No. <laughs> like, what well, people suppose like, I had a conversation with someone... Well, sex isn't everything. No, but it is something, though. It's sort of, it's actually one of the benefits of being in a relationship. Not the only benefit. I mean, it is the only benefit when you're when you're young. Uh, well, from from male, sometimes it is the only good thing about a relationship. Unless you're in love, then of course everything's wonderful. Everything. I remember, what was it, early 90s, watching the news, it was the first Gulf War, I remember just sitting there with my girlfriend, all loved up, laughing, watching the tanks and on the TV and all the destruction and just having a wonderful time, we were so in love. You know, it just, it brightens, <laughs> it, 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 it brightens up the most mundane things. Being in love, like, oh, isn't it? And I noticed that when I was in, yeah, when I used to kind of fall for someone, I'd, I'd laugh more and I love laughing. I'd laugh, I seem to... Yeah, I've seen that. I've seen that in nightclubs. I've seen that where... And it's it's a theme... Of, I've not really seen men do it. They probably... I'm sure they do. But um, I find just women more interesting. So I observe them more than I do men. I just find men... just I just generally just... I just... Uh, find women more interesting as a species... It's probably because I am kind of a man, but also kind of a woman at the same time. Um, <laughs> I wouldn't say I'm all man. I'm all man physically, as far as I've got most of the the bits they're supposed to have. Unfortunately, mine are in miniature. And uh, apart from my belly, mind you, get rid of the belly. I should actually add, be able to add an extra half inch, so that should be good. And um, <clears throat> what was I say? Oh yeah, I've seen. I say women, possibly like young, 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 young women. In the past, talking to talking to a bloke, yeah, a boy, basically they're girls and boys are very young. I've, I've seen young women talking to someone that they clearly fancy, they're like really attracted to, laughing at everything he's saying. And he's not saying one funny thing. And it's amazing to see. I mean, again, estrogen, ostrogen, um, estrogen. What is it that men produce? Um, Other than sweat and poo. What is it that they do?
whatever, you know, the hormones that men produce. Which is exactly the same, it's exactly the same thing. Men produce that stuff that attracts women, women that does it, it attracts men. And it's produced naturally. But I would say that the better looking people seem to produce more of it. Because they have more success. So... I think I was given probably an egg cup full of this and I had to use it very sparingly. It's all used up now, but I used to have to be very sparing. So I'd have a, like a, you know those air fresheners that you can stick into the wall and you can have them squirt out every now and then. Well, I was a little bit like that with the egg, you know. I'd have a little bit of uh, ethyl or whatever it is that men produce. And just have that little squirt out every now and then. So I had a bit, of, I had a little bit of success occasionally, but, you know, I think, but I've also seemed to have attracted good looking men to be my friends because I think I'll make them look better. They have me next to them, and they look better. They, you know, even though they already look good to start with. And you see that with women as well. So, you know, men do it, women do it. I just I never realised that I was the... I was the one. <laughs> I, I was the... Um, I don't know what the right word is for it. Not troll... Yeah, maybe that would be an original, yeah. The uh, the old age, the proper use of the word troll. You know, under the bridge. My name's Jason. Uh, uh, fancy going out sometime? Uh, uh. Uh, yeah. yeah, sure. Yeah, sounds great. Let me just go and get my... <laughs> my telephone number for you I left it in my helicopter help help so I used to I remember I was out with this bloke and he was it was one of these I used to work in an insurance <laughs> I've mentioned it a few times and it was I forget his name now but he he kept, kept, I sat next to him for ages and ages and ages. And he kept saying, let's go out for a drink. And I said, no, I'll see you all day long. Why would I want to see you outside of work? That was my... It wasn't just what I thought. I said it to him. I seen the days when I just sort of say what I... Th you know, I used to just be honest. I said, I, you know, I'll see you all day long. I don't want to see you outside. And eventually, he found that funny. I think he thought I was joking. And eventually we did... We ended up dating, no. Eventually we did go out for a drink and women were just almost as like he had this invisible lasso that he was just chucking at women and just ridiculous. Like seriously ridiculous. They're just, it's almost like, I, I saw women with their boyfriends and you could see that they just wanted to just leave their boyfriend and walk over and be with him. It was very weird. Very, very weird. I mean, he was astonishingly good looking. I mean, you can't do can't, can't deny it. But blimey, you think, wow. But he must have given off that stinky uh, pheromone stuff, uh, as well as how he looked. But he must have given off that as well. Like as a double whammy, and it was just honestly, I was just what I saw sometimes was ridiculous. And there was this, this this young, she was quite young, but I really liked her. She used to work in a chip shop, and I hadn't seen her for about a year. But I used to say hello and talk to her. Right. Like, I didn't hang around the chip shop talking to her. I used to say hello. She's very attractive, and I thought, 
Um, I'm going to think of you later. And then... I was in a nightclub with my friend, and she turned up. I was like, you're right, yeah, she's all right, okay. And I'm thinking, wow, this is an opportunity. Maybe I can get a chance to get to know her a little bit, and maybe have a drink, maybe have a little dance. Uh, I'm thinking this, and, she, and I hear her voice say, are you going to introduce me? I said, we've already met, mate, we've already met, do you remember? I gave you that one pound tip three years ago and uh, I figure I want to cash that in that one pound tip I gave you I think it's she said what? I said nothing she said uh, I said you can introduce me I said to who? your friend I said no fuck off so that was it that was that gone I got rid of <laughs> I can't actually mean to swear then sorry but I did, I said, no. <laughs> I said, I want you for myself. I'm not going to... Do you feel I am? It is pimp. No. Go away. So, yeah. Introduce me to your friend. Go away. No. No, I'm not. I said, no. It didn't stop her, though. She just joined the queue of women waiting to, <laughs> waiting to meet him. It was a little bit like that annoying I mean what was weird is the women the, the women the ladies the females were blatant as well they were friends with each other but they were still texting him he used to show me the texts the texts even though they were friends with each other even though one of them was actually dating him officially her friends would be texting him trying to get him to come out with them I said he'd show me the texts they'd be begging him literally it's like I can't believe it I've never seen anything like it literally begging him by text I'll do anything you want come out with me tonight and all that stuff like what it sounds like lies it sounds like something that like someone would say like and he's like yeah sure she said that yeah of course you're gonna yep yeah, you're yeah of course you're gonna turn that uh washing up liquid bottle into a rocket and travel to the moon johnny of course you are that's a good boy yeah that's don't worry that just let you know don't worry no, 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 don't, that's okay, you can have the washing up liquid bowl. That's, that's fine, you go to the moon, you can go there, when you get back, we're going to sort you out some new parents. <laughs> Bye, yeah, go, go, have fun. <laughs> so yeah, it was amazing. I was like, wow. I opened that stuff, because I've never, I was never... I've always been, didn't mean to be, but I always ended up being respectful towards women. I didn't want to be, but I just, I don't know, I just ended up being that way. And I believe in, I just didn't want to sort of take advantage of anyone, really. I wanted to, but I just didn't. I didn't want to, but, you know, I would have, not take advantage, but, make the most I think it's make the most of the situation I think because it's take advantage and it's take advantage if you take advantage of a situation that's just being sensible and making the best of a moment is different from taking advantage of a person it's a different I suppose I don't know maybe it's because I was looking for love I was looking for the wrong thing or looking in the wrong places. Yeah, I think that's what it was. I was looking... I was looking for diamonds in a slate mine. 
Let's just let's use that as an analogy. Looking in the wrong place. Come on, sons, hurry up, get ready. We've got a lovely day. We're going to go and watch some planes flying over for five hours in a field. Yeah. And if it rains, tough. Wait, wait a minute, Dad. What? So, let me get this straight. We're going to go to a field in the middle of nowhere with thousands of other people in the car and then we're going to go and sit on the grass and planes are going to drive go over us is, is that right yes son that's right so basically we're going to spend the day at the airport is that what you're saying no, no, not at all. Well, there is some similarities, don't you think, possibly? Mm, maybe a few similarities. Um, well, what's the differences in Papa? Well, first of all, the planes that go to the airport are very new. Well pretty new and well conditioned and they always land properly and you know they land safely all the time and they're very safe let me backtrack you there daddykins so you're telling me that the difference between us sitting in the field and sitting in an airport is that the planes going over us are not going to be safe or new. Mm, yeah, but that's part of the fun. What's part of, b -b 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 part of the fun? Da 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 da. Well, they're old planes. That's you know, <laughs> trying to see them do loop the loop and the engine cutting out and and they have to parachute out and. Okay, let me just stop you there, Daddy. So they parachute out. That's good, they're safe. They're safe, okay? That's good that they're safe. So what about the plane? What happens to the plane? I mean, does it land itself? Uh, does it fly into space? Uh, does it turn into a mushroom? What does the plane do, Daddy? Well, the plane's going to crash. Hmm. Is it going to crash in the clouds is it gonna float up what well, is that what's gonna happen no it's gonna crash into the ground into the ground mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. let's continue down this line mm -hmm. into the ground yeah mm -hmm. um where are we gonna be daddy <laughs> we're gonna be on the ground Oh, are you sure we're not going to be in the flood, in the sky, in the clouds? Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, mm -hmm. are you sure? Are you sure we're not going to be in the clouds? No, we're definitely going to be on the ground. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Hmm. So, uh, can you see where I'm going here, Daddy? Mm, yeah, I can. So, uh, hmm. What's uh, what have you got to say about that then? Well, son, what I've got to say is this. I'm a very fast runner. Much faster than you, or your two brothers, or your mum. Each man for themselves. And you're all fully insured. Good luck. Oh, uh, lovely. So that's when, you know, obviously, I started tying his shoelaces together. So he'd be there, all cocky, all, uh, all I can get out of the way if the plane crashes. Little knowing that he wouldn't be able to because he'd be tripping up over his own feet. <laughs> uh, uh, evil time lord. That's me. 
the old little gremlin. <laughs> See, I've covered most things today. That's good. So I'm going to go. Thank you for listening. Thank you for listening. Remember to be kind to yourself. If you can't be kind to yourself, then make yourself a lovely hot dog meal. Mmm, mmm, a hot dog meal. Maybe some chips, fries, maybe some tomato ketchup. Mmm, mmm, maybe some baked beans. Mm, that'd be lovely. It'd be really, really glorious. I think I might be hungry. It's weird though, 6.16 in the morning. I don't know if I want to have to have anything to eat to be there. So anyway, thank you. Thank you everybody. Thank you for listening. I did have another message, but it's too late because everyone's probably asleep. people I'm gonna read I'm gonna read it read that message tomorrow so have a great day remember remember to be kind to yourself because you do deserve to be happy do something really lovely for yourself today really wonderful something special doesn't have to cost money just be nice to you lots of love bye
Thank you. 